Hi, this is Ed Brannigan from International Coatings. Today we're going to do a short demonstration on printing on nylon. Now we're going to use International Coatings 900 series nylon inks. These inks are specifically made for printing on nylon, although you can print them on cotton, but they were designed originally for nylon. They require the use of a catalyst, which is a bonding agent. Now the reason for using the bonding agent is that nylon material has such a tight weave on it and it being synthetic material the inks don't absorb down into it like cotton does so what the, the catalyst does is it helps the ink adhere to the fabric because it sits on top now the, the ratio is 5% or one, in tw 1 part in 20 catalyst to ink by weight that's really important if you add too much it doesn't harm the ink but you're just wasting the catalyst and another important point to remember is that once the catalyst is added to the ink the ink has a shelf life usually 8 to 12 hours sometimes longer depending on humidity and temperature so only mix as much as you need to do your production run with make sure it's mixed in thoroughly Nylon inks are what you would consider pure plastisol in that they don't have many additives in them like like puff plastisols would or, or stuff like that. Sometimes if you're printing on nylon jackets with the lining you can buy a clamp to help clamp it down onto the pallet to hold it in place while you're printing so it doesn't move. Another thing to remember about nylon material also is sometimes it's prone to shrinkage so you really want to flash it first or run it through your dryer one time before you start printing. That way the shrinkage is done and you don't have to worry about it. International Coatings also carries the 9000 nylon ink system which is a PMS matching system for anyone that needs to make PMS colors with. Um, also check the garment on the the garment label to make sure that actually it is 100% nylon and doesn't have other materials mixed into it as is sometimes the case. If, that's the if that is the case you may still be able to use 900 series inks or you, might, you may be able to switch to something else. Also make sure that if it is a blend that the other material it's blended with is not heat sensitive or it's not a bleeding fabric like polyester. Really critical is test printing nylon first because a lot of those jackets are fairly expensive and hard to replace. The cure temperature is 320 degrees Fahrenheit with a dwell time of one minute. So if, if you're printing nylon material that is heat sensitive, testing first is, is really important. <laughs> 